Next event on the track is the second time final for the under 14 boys. Swedish medley. In lane one, we are vacant. Lane two, Waverley. Three, Diamond Valley. Four, Keelor. Five, Mentone. Six, Berwick. Mark. Seven, oh. Geelong. And in lane eight, Cranbourne. So we're focusing on lanes two through to eight in this event. Set. So clean start for the athletes here in this event. Strong run at the moment by the athletes from Keel or in centre of field. They're in the black and the white, cross check. They'll take the baton first, closely followed by Berwick and Geelong as well as Diamond Valley in that mix. So it is Keelor coming down the front straight with a very strong lead at the moment, this 300 metre leg of the event. Bit of a quick baton change in the hand for the athlete there, just preparing himself to run comfortably around with about 150 metres to go. Berwick currently sitting in second, Diamond Valley, Waverley, Geelong and Cranbourne following closely behind. But as they mask, pass the discus cage with about 100 metres left of this leg to go, it is the athlete from Keelor out in front. Do suspect that they're going to run a pretty big and fast race. Their seated time comes in at 2.14, ahead of the next closest competitor at 2.23. So we'll see the competitor take the 200-metre leg out now from Keelor. Berwick, Diamond Valley. As well as I think you might find it is Geelong. So out in front at this moment is Keelor. Running closely behind is the athlete from Berwick. Then Geelong, Diamond Valley cutting through on the inside to get a really prime suspicion to actually pass the baton to his competitor. Cranbourne, then Waverley. It does look like Keelor take the baton now. Berwick next, Geelong, Diamond Valley, Cranbourne, then Waverley in that order. The competitors make their way around with the last 400 metres of this event to go. A significant lead to the athlete out in front at the moment from Keelor. We have seen this athlete be able to cater for a number of dis different disciplines with a variety of different performances. So he really is a very good competitor to watch and compete. So Keeler, as they make their way around with about 150 metres to go, looks like he's been working on this distance somewhat, Zulki has. He's coming through really strong with 100 metres to go. They're obviously trying to better their time than from they had at region. So he's looking like doing so. We'll see how he comes down to the line. Regardless of the fact they'll still have the Victorian best performance from this event, just trying to make that time a little bit sharper. He does do that, 2.13, unofficial, point one. Berwick will take out second. Diamond Valley third. Geelong in fourth. Cranbourne. And Waverley. So there you competitors in the second time final of the under 14 boys.